When you hear the word Japan, what does it conjure in your mind? Do you instantly think of sushi? Or do you close your eyes and see a cherry blossom? Perhaps there's a geisha in your mind. Do you chuckle at the fat sumo wrestlers whose outfits are reminiscent of baby nappies? Everyone has a different view of Japan. But at the end of this video, you will come to see the country through different eyes. Of course, Japan's most populous city is the capital. Here, in one square kilometer, they somehow fit 6,279 people in it. Because of this number of people and many businesses, the temperature in the capital is always 10 degrees higher than the outside. Tokyo is a city of paradoxes. Only here, modern skyscrapers glittering with neon lights and tranquils in gardens can be harmoniously combined. On one hand, it's a megapolis with a furious pace of life with speeding trains, and on the other, it's a city of ancient temples and peace of mind. From early childhood, young Japanese children are very different from other kids because they are taught in another way. First, the school year starts in April and ends in March but they do have a summer holiday, although it only lasts a month and a half. It's hard to imagine more independent children than Japanese school children. They are actively participant in cooking and cleaning classrooms at the end of the day. There are no school buses in Japan, and it's not customary to drive children to school. Even first graders use public transportation to get to school on their own. In Japan, it's customary not to miss school due to illness, and pupils are rarely late. The younger Japanese, as you can imagine, are forced to grow up very early. In generally, the Japanese work like bees, and they live about the same. Due to a lack of space, most of them live in a small flat which is less than 10 meters square. In such a flat, you can only stay the night before you go back to work. Not surprisingly, the Japanese are not in a great hurry to go home, even after a hard day's work. Most go straight from the office to a nightclub or a bar and only go home for a couple of hours a day. The only thing we can envy is Japan's roads. They are in perfect condition. Though most of the highways are not free of charge, parking also is not cheap. In the center of Tokyo, prices reach $6 per hour, but not every Japanese citizen has his or her own car. Most of them get to and from work by public transportation, which in this country is probably the best in the world. Take the high-speed trains, for example. These are carriages of varying degrees of comfort for every taste and purse. In some trains, the seats can even be turned around so you can always look in the direction of the train's movement. On the other hand, the best thing about riding in the underground is that it's not the most pleasant thing to do. Even though the trains here are modern, there's not enough space for all the people, especially during rush hour. You may say it's never a misfortune, but try it for a week and you'll feel resentful of the whole world. The Japanese are very diligent about learning because they know without education there won't be a prestigious job and they won't be able to survive without a job. The competition in the country is very tough. Japan is often called the country of workaholics. But in fact, most of them are driven not by the love of their work, but by the desire to survive. Large companies have double standards. On one hand, they obey the laws and forbid their employees to stay in the offices longer than they're entitled to. Overtime is not tolerated. They even cut off the electricity at the end of the day, so no one has the desire to stay and work. On the other hand, employees are given schedules that are simply impossible to meet during working hours. Each employee knows that if he fails, 
they will be replaced by someone else because the country is so overburdened with people. That's why the Japanese work so hard. Getting fired is a real tragedy. Most people in Japan spend their whole lives in the same place. You can't get a decent job after you've been fired. This approach is good for the economy. Corporations get rich quick, but paradoxically, most Japanese people only suffer because of it. Only in Japan is there a concept of Gadoshi. Death by overwork. Many people have been able to prove that the serious illness of their loved ones were due to overwork. Companies have had to pay them huge sums of money in compensation. This has forced corporate executives to literally kick employees out of the office at the end of the workday. But as I said, no one has reduced the volume of work. Now the Japanese are just working from home. Many of them not only physically, but also emotionally can't cope with the strain. This has led to Japan becoming a country of suicides. People here are much more likely than other countries to voluntarily take their own lives. Sometimes because of fatigue and stress as they live in a highly competitive environment. Sometimes it's the loss of work that is the reason for suicide. Try telling a Japanese person that quitting is not the end of life. He will laugh in your face. Although the Japanese are very attached to their traditions, they do not wear kimonos in the streets. If you want to see the trendiest youngsters in Japan, you must go to Harajuku Street. This is where cosplay was originated. So you can see all kinds of superheroes walking around Harajuku. It's not just the clothes and the hairstyles that attract attention. Many Japanese dye their hair acidic, but Japanese only wear bright colors when they're off work. Every profession has a strict dress code. Even children cannot just dress however they want. All school children have to wear the same school uniforms. Not surprisingly, the Japanese enjoy experimenting with style whenever the opportunity arises. At all times, Japanese women have had many rights compared to other nationalities. They were never given out in marriage by force, and women inherit property in the same way as their brothers. However, to this day, it's still more difficult for Japanese women to get a decent job than a man, and they tend to be paid less. There is a complete matriarch in the family. The man earns more, but the wife manages the budget. In many families, the husband's salary is transferred straight to the wife's card. So it's not surprising that many women in the country voluntarily become housewives and are involved solely in raising the children and making the home comfortable. Unlike Europeans who value comfort above all, Japanese women are willing to do much for the sake of their beauty. This outfit is practical, but Japanese women are not afraid of male attention. Looking at Japanese TV shows, it's difficult to believe that these people introduced advanced technology and created the best of them in the world. These people seem absolutely insane. It's hard to believe that a person with high intelligence would laugh at such jokes. But these are the kind of shows that are popular in Japan. It's easy to explain. We've already talked about that almost all Japanese are too overworked. Their brain is simply unable to take in serious information at the end of the day. So they want to distract themselves a bit by laughing at the way grown-up men portray toddlers or something similar. Did you know that 60% of all cartoons in the world are Japanese anime? This genre has many fans far beyond the country's borders. Anime is a very special world, reflecting Japanese culture, so the only Japanese are able to create true masterpieces in this genre. Anime is joined not only by children, but also by adults. A lot of Japanese people live under stress from work, and who better to soothe the nerves, K-1 
cats, of course. Many cafes have sprung up where you can not only drink tea and chat with your friends, but also play with cats. Similar cafes have started to appear in other countries as well. But only here they enjoy the greatest popularity, because it's something rare for the Japanese who cannot afford to have their own cats because of their daily routine. Yet, in spite of the lack of time in small flats, the love for animals in Japan is so great that some people not only have cats, but also dogs. They are usually cute little dogs, which are more like teddy bears than guards. You can take the dog for a walk at a restricted area, but even the tiniest dogs may not be allowed off the leash. In busy areas, they can even be taken for a walk with the pram. Since the topic of animals is on the agenda, the topic of black cats should be mentioned. Unlike us, the Japanese believe that they bring good luck. It is believed that the mistress of a black cat will always have many suitors. There is even a cat cafe where all pets are black. Anything is good in the fight against stress. Nothing soothes better than an embrace of a loved one. But what about the lonely people? Pillows in the form of various body parts were invented especially for them. Judging by what is ordered most often, Japanese women lack a strong male arm, and men more often buy a pillow in the shape of a woman's buttocks. 